Good morning, friends. Happy weekend. How are you? It's good to see you, my loves. It is somebody's September reading. I'm not sure who. We're going to draw in a second. A couple of things I've already been told. Not to freak anybody out, but we have a lot to discuss. One, I've been told to keep my moon off. All right. That was a very specific message. I was told specifically, turn your moon lamp off. So that would be your feminine energy. So whoever sign I pull, if this reading is for you or it resonates, there is some type of focus on your moon energy or your divine feminine energy that is out of alignment. Or you're dealing with someone who is currently out of alignment that is a divine feminine. Okay. Now, the energy that I'm feeling is very classy. So this is very out of normal for either you or somebody else. So there's that one. Second thing I heard was the word expedited. Something has been expedited for you. So whether that is a package you ordered or that's like a literal spirit is putting a package together for you and it's being expedited. I'm also being told that we're going to smoke together today as well. So if you do that, feel free to indulge. If not, grab a glass of tea, whatever you do to make yourself relax, okay? I had something really fucking weird yesterday happen. I've never had it. However... I can't even hardly wrap my head around it. I can't talk. I can't really describe it. It really shook me. Okay, y'all. Let's go ahead and pick a sign. Who's, who's reading is this? Let's talk. Because whoever you are, Spirit's wanting me to talk to you about this experience specifically. Who do we have? Aries. Aries, I want you to listen up here, Emperor, Empress. <clears throat> God love you, Aries. My mom's energy is here all freaking day. She will not leave my side. She is not leaving my side. Aries, listen. All right. You're number one in the Zodiac for a reason on the calendar. Yesterday, I went and had an ionic foot bath done. Now, a lot of health purposes of why, but I went specifically because I felt like I had... Demons still clinging onto me that were not my own, that were from previous generations. I don't know how else to describe that energetically. It's going to be something you'll know in your heart that you've done as much work as you possibly can. And even after all of that, you still feel it. That's when you'll know, especially if you really know your family's history. Okay, so I went. My friend plugs the bath in. This is a big deal. I could literally get electrocuted, right? 30 minutes. My feet are in the water. At first, I felt it being pulled from the bottom of my heels on the back side of my heels, towards the back of my foot. Aries, it felt like souls were being pulled from me. Okay, I was chit-chatting with two of my friends at the same time. And I think God had them there for a reason because clearly I, I needed some, some support because what came out of my feet was the blackest, darkest water I had ever seen. And when I looked into it, I saw it. I saw a demon. My friend unplugged the machine and I walked out back with her and she's dumping the water. She says, Maggie, I've never seen anything like this. And after I unplugged the bath, the power stayed on. Welcome to your September reading, Aries. Let's go ahead and get some cards for you. That is a true story. Get your demons and murder these motherfuckers. And I mean murder them. They are no longer welcome in your life. They have clung to you specifically. If you're resonating with me already, 
You already know what I'm talking about. You got to kill them. How dare they think they can come in this generation, right? And that's what I told that fucker in the water when I looked at it. And then I crossed myself because I'm a child of God. You got me fucked up. Aries, we ain't even fucking around. All right, we ain't even fucking around. Ten of cups. King of cups out the gate. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get that. Uh, you know what? Hold up. Let's just clear that energy real quick, Aries. We got it. We got to get going here. I just. Ooh. There's a reason I'm supposed to tell you that story. And I don't know. Like I said, King of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ashe. <laughs> so we got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords. My love, look at you. Looks like you've maybe already been killing some demons, huh? You could have a lot of water in your chart, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you're dealing with someone. This also could be a parental figure. There's something here I'm hearing. I just heard patriarchy. Patriarchy. Okay. Uh, tell me more. What is that? Why, why'd you say that? That's why. Aries, there's something you're going to find out or there's a lesson you're going to learn or something with regards to your father and your grandfather this month. It's really important. I'm being told that. Like, it's like a, uh, a life lesson is going to occur this month regarding your dad and your grandfather. And regardless of if they're here in the 3D or not, you're going to be like really at peace from whatever you find out or whatever you learn tell me more i'm in a mood aries i'm sorry in a good way the best ways actually man like i'm fucking vibrating like the highest i have ever vibrated and i can feel it and it's a, it is a new vibration and Aries, you're there. There's something here about your dad and your grandpa that's going to help you get there too. All right, tell me more. Thank you. I'm literally being told to stop throwing cards right now and just talk to you, Aries, okay? Yeah, there's Knight of Cups fell on the bottom of it. Look at that. Look at it. Okay, Aries, let's talk. Let's just chat, friend. My gifts have heightened. I don't need cards at all anymore. Man, it's been wild. There are two men right now in your life you're really looking up to, Aries. These are two people, not yourself. I'm seeing two masculine figures. I feel like one may have been in, in the army <clears throat> or went to war. This person may have flashbacks, PTSD, something like that. There's a heavy message with that. What does this have to do with Aries, though, Spirit? Why, why are you going to put these cards out here and then talk about their dad and their grandfather? Aries came here to talk about love. <laughs> Spirit just said, Aries, shut up. <laughs> Spirit said, you need to chill out. Sit down. <laughs> okay, I guess. You are in such a good mood, Aries. You've been in a really good mood lately. And it's about to continue into September. Do you know how many people look up to you? There are so many people that look up to you, dude. I feel like you're going to be celebrating something that comes in during November. You're celebrating it now, but it doesn't come in until November. So what is that? Three months from now? September, October, November? Okay, so there's that. What is that?
<clears throat> I'm hearing a crowd cheering right now. Aries, I don't know what you've just done. This might just be in the ethers, but I don't feel like it's that. I feel like this is a 3D thing. Aries, you're about to win a major award or have a major accomplishment or do something in your life that you've always wanted to do, like bucket list or something that is very satisfying, gratifying, and it makes you feel elated. You're finding out or receiving this or doing this this month. But again, it might... Like if you get a, an award, like it won't come in the mail until November or something. It's something like that. Okay. I don't know. That's what I'm being told. So there's that. Anything else? Spirit. 11.13 when I look down at the clock. I'm seeing a cornfield. Seeing a man in overalls in a cornfield. <clears throat> I feel his energy. He's so nice. What a kind man. He's he's older. He's maybe like early 60s. He's got overalls on. He has a bunch of produce in his arms and he's helping his wife. And he's so sweet with her and patient and they're outside and he's on the front porch. I see a farm in the background. Okay, why am I being shown this spirit? I heard it was him. It was him who? It was him who? It was that energy, that kind of energy that he was. So maybe Aries wants to emulate that or they look up to that or something. Or this may be someone you know. I don't know. Do you want me to throw any cards, Spirit? What else? This is a weird reading, but it's it's definitely necessary for whatever reason. song is that oh my god who sings that <clears throat> millions of peaches peaches for me millions of peaches peaches for free i think those are the words something like that i cannot think of who sings that song i know you know what i'm talking about aries Maybe dealing with an Aquarius this month, Aries. This may have been someone you had a falling out with. They really want to get back with you. Something of that magnitude. Yeah, Temperance, Five of Pence, and the reverse. The Fool, there it is. There you are. Aries, you got someone headed straight for you. Knight of Wands, okay? This is energy they're bringing to you. Very lighthearted energy. This person's done some healing and they've been upset they haven't been able to manifest with you. They do have a ton of love. A ton of love. They could also be an Aries. They could be an Aquarius. They could be a Sagittarius. They could be a, Cor a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces or have some of those in their chart somewhere. Anything else, Spirit? One final spirit oracle. Okay. <clears throat> One final spirit oracle for for Aries. For if this is resonating with you, leave me a comment below. And if you'd like a private one on one, uh, all private readings are free this month. Hit me up, dude. My email is below. Enjoy. So this card's called Quan Yin. And here's what it says. Enjoy the journey of life. Be not afraid of its mysteries. Take a chance and follow your heart, for you are being guided by an angel. Hi, Aries. 
If you have been wavering about proceeding with something that is dear to you, then this is your confirmation. Just do it. Have a killer month. I'll see you soon. Bye, Aries.